Hey everyone, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. How are you doing on this Wednesday afternoon? I have some really fun stuff to show you. Hopefully I'm going to be able to get through this okay. I'm battling a head cold, so excuse me if I cough or sniffle, but we're going to try and make it through because I have some really great things to show you. We got a shipment from Impression Obsession, lots of new things in here and uh, a few older things that we got back in stock. So let's just jump in and show you. First of all, I really, really love this stamp set that came out um, last year. You can see the old fashioned hanging light bulbs. I think maybe those are Edison bulbs. And here you can see a fun card that we did with it. We used a stencil to make that light uh, uh, background there. Hey guys. And um, so really simple, just used a stencil to do that stamp the light bulbs. We also got this stamp back in. Impression Obsession has some really, really great sentiment stamps and so this is the one that we used on that card. I also got some great things, some great scenic stamps. I love scenes. Probably my favorite stamps are scenic stamps and sentiment stamps and we have a lot of both in here. First of all, we got back in the Forest Sun stamp. This is a really great stamp. A lot of things that you can do with it. We used it in class last week. This card is so simple. We used two different colors of blue ink pads and just drug the ink pad across a white background and then stamp the stamp on it. Anytime you have those kind of scenic silhouette stamps, all you need to do is create a simple background and stamp to have something really, really nice on it. Here is another really nice tree background. This is a very large one. It's one of their 6x6 cover of cards, and it is the tree line stamp. You can see these beautiful bare trees there. And I can't believe I haven't had this one in before. I've got some of their individual brush trees, but this one is the brush tree line, and this one will be so great for so many um, scenic st st uh, stamps. It's all just one stamp. Also got in some serendipity stamps. This one we've had before, but I got it back in the covered bridge. I'm hoping to use it in an upcoming class. Here is an older Impression Obsession one. We've actually had this one before. We did a really simple card with it. Some of you might remember that. Just black and white with, I think, a little red cardinal on the mailbox. But I have uh, plans to do maybe something a little bit more uh, involved than that. Also really like this one here. It's called Wheel in Snow. And this is just really simple, but I think really fun. And I'm going to even show you a sample. It doesn't have to be uh, for wintertime, even though it says Wheel in Snow. Someone has taken that and has um, made it so it's obviously not in the snow. So that is really fun. Also great for your uh, scenic cards are some deer dye from Impression Obsession. Uh, this is the small deer. You get the two smaller deer dies in there and then this one is the deer trio and those deer are a little bit larger we're going to be using the small deer on this card that we have coming up in class next week this uses a die from impression obsession that we have in stock but these deer would be great with so many of these other scenic ones would be great on this card here as well and something else another die that we got in we had lots of people asking us about this one we used it on this cute little card, is this birch tree circle. You get the birch tree circle, and you can see it does have kind of the hanging tab there, but you can easily cut that off if you don't want it. Um, actually, that is a separate die, so you don't even have to cut it off if you don't want to use it. And you get all these different leaves. We actually used it to make a little poinsettia on here, but um, you can also just use it for leaves. There is a new Seth Aptor stamp for all of you that are into mixed media and grunge. This is a new cling set called Spirals. It has these three uh, spiral images on it. They are pretty good sized. We also got some really fun stamps in from Serendipity. Um, Impression Obsession recently acquired all the Serendipity stamps images. And they have some really great ones. This is a really fun background. It is a marble background. This one, I am not exactly sure what I am going to do with it, but I just love it. It's called Spyro. I think this would be great on just a, um, a fun background, watercolor, distress oxides, whatever kind of background, a jelly printed background. I just think that's a really fun image. This is a really great set if you are into the retro look. It is called Starburst. 
and you get six different stamps on here. You get some of these solid stamps that you can combine with some of these others, and I think you could do some really fun things with that. And this is another large 6x6 cover card stamp. This one is Zentangle, and this one is so much fun. If you love to color, you could certainly go in and color in, but you could also just do a fun background and then stamp this on top of it. I mentioned that we got some sentiments in. These are new. Um, this one is called The Moment. I really like Storms. Not all storms come to disrupt your life. Some come to clear your path. This is one that we had in many times before, but we tend to use it a lot. I'm going to be using it in an upcoming class, so I thought I would get it back in. A couple of really nice sentiments from Serendipity. And this one, the quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And this one is really fun if you like a little bit of snark. Let the shenanigans begin. This little pup is absolutely adorable. I think he is just the cutest thing ever. He is quite large. You can see him there. He is a really good size stamp. And I'm going to show you a sample that has used this stamp, this I Miss You with it. And it is so, so cute. Love, love, love this little pup. Have some things here that would be great for Valentine's Day, although you could certainly use them beyond that. This little peekaboo kitty is really sweet. This one is great all the time. Love you more. I like how they have kind of the outline letters back there and then the love you in the solid script in the front. Maybe you think that you don't have anyone to send Valentine's to, but why not make a Valentine for some of your gal pals? This uh, stamp with the two friends there is really nice, and we even have a stamp that says Happy Valentine's Day. Excuse me just a minute, I'm getting a tickle in my throat. All right, on we go. I also really like this die. This is the wooden heart die. And you get two different dies with it. You get the large outer one, and then you get the inner one that has the rings in it that are embossed into it. <coughs> Excuse me. This little teddy bear is really cute. His name is actually Ted E. Bear, and you can see he's got the little heart on him there. And I also really think this little fox lady is so cute with the little heart and the little flower crown on her head. All right, so I know lots of you make cards and hopefully send cards, and I think these next stamps are perfect for that. First of all, we have this cute little stamp that says hand stamped, so you can add that to all your creations. This one says made with love, and you can use that on your things you stamp, but also lots of other things as well. It would make great gift tags for all kinds of little gifts, handmade gifts that you've made. And these, if when you send mail to someone, are so fun. This one would be perfect for the envelope. It says, please deliver happy mail to, and there is a place for you to put the address in there. And this is a similar one here that says, speedy delivery to. And finally, we have this one here that says, random acts of mail. So much fun to stamp that on to your envelope. Um, of a handmade card that you send to someone. All right, let me show you some samples because I do have lots of samples for some of these here. First of all, this is the spirals from the Seth After stamp set. Really like that background. There is that little howling pup I was telling you about. Isn't he adorable with the I miss you down there at the bottom? <clears throat> and there is that little peekaboo kitty peeking around the edge of the card there. There we can see this cute little um, Happy Valentine's Day card that would be really cute to send to some of your um, girl pals. And here we have the little Ted E. Bear, and there you can see we also have the I Miss You sentiment on it. And there you can see that sweet little fox lady. And here you can see what that would look like if you use that Deliver Happy Mail to on the outside of your envelope. And here, I wanted to show this one. Here is a sample of the covered bridge. Isn't that really gorgeous? And there is one with the large tree line cover a card stamp. I think that is just absolutely beautiful. That looks like it might be alcohol inks, but I'm not really sure in that background. 
And here is one using the brush tree line just by itself with a sentiment. That one is really beautiful. Love the blues in that. And here is one with that wheel in snow, and there they have, in fact, made it in the winter time. But here is the one that I was telling you about. This one is obviously not winter time, and they've used the very same stamp, so a lot more versatile than you might think at first. Um, this right here is the winter farm, and you can see that is the card that I was telling you that we had done before. But you could also certainly do it and add more color to it as well. All right, that's all I have for you right now. I do have some other shipments here. Probably only going to get to one of them. Mana is gone. She has gone back to Thailand to visit family, so I am here on my own. So I'm going to be teaching her classes, and I have class tonight. So I probably will only maybe get to one of the boxes, but um, I promise if I don't get both of them today, I will be back tomorrow to show you more goodies. Hope you have a good evening, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.